welcome to a random thoughts Rayshawn Blyden here don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe for all your liberal friends or liberal people watching this who say oh let the migrants come in we're America we're a land of immigrants where they keep forgetting the key word legal immigrants not illegal immigrants here's a sad story that uh Viewer discretion advised for sure. Viewer discretion is advised because uh, this is just, yeah, uh, for the purposes of not saying that word, I'm going to change the word to a fruit rather than what it is. But if you take the G off of there, that's what the word is. So, El Salvador, illegal immigrant charged with grape murdering a murder a mother of five an illegal immigrant from el salvador was arrested and charged for graping and murdering a maryland mother of five victor antonio martinez hernandez was taken into custody on friday after law enforcement agents found him in tulsa oklahoma the illegal alien was charged for allegedly killing Rachel Morin, who was found dead near a hiking trail in August of 2023. Hartford County Sheriff Jeffrey Gaylar confirmed the arrest and said that Martinez Hernandez has been charged with five degree murder and first degree grape. Five hours after meeting with Morin's family and just before midnight our time, police in Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma, assisted by our federal partners, located and arrested Rachel's murderer, Victor Antonio Martinez Hernandez, Gaylor said. Gaylor believes that Morin was not Martinez Hernandez's first victim. The 23-year-old undocumented alien illegally crossed the Mexico U.S.-Mexico border in February of 2023. Gaylar suspects that Martinez Hernandez fled to the United States after killing a young woman in El Salvador in January of 2023. FBI agents say that even traveled to El Salvador to track down the alleged killer. So they even traveled to, to El Salvador to track him down. As well as they show he's a monster. He deserves the death penalty. There's no one who can tell me he doesn't deserve the death penalty. Once in our country, and likely emboldened by his amenity, he brutally attacked a nine-year-old girl and her mother in a home invasion in March of 2023 in Los Angeles, Gaylor stated, adding that the law enforcement's first DNA match for Martinez Hernandez was from an attack he committed in March of 2023. The LA case allowed investigators to connect DNA samples from the murder scene in Hartford County to the surveillance video of the suspect in California, which gave local and federal investigators their first images of Martinez Hernandez. FBI Baltimore special agent said that they have that they were able to trace the illegal immigrants' DNA to potential family members in El Salvador and identify the suspect. Local law enforcement could locate him in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and take him into custody. It is my hope and the hope of all involved working this case that the arrest of the suspect brings her, Morin's family, and our Hartford County community 
some peace, Gaila said. Well, no offense, Gaila, but the only thing that's going to bring peace, if this piece of crap, this garbage, is executed and die a slow death, but not too slow that he lived too long. This just, I, I know, again, I'm very hard at being graceful to someone who grapes people. Like, I, I, you know, I don't, not only grape, but murder as well. So, yeah, I can't be graceful about stuff like this. I, I, it's hard for me to try to do that. So anyway, what do you think of this piece of garbage? What should happen to him? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Random thoughts, politics, 